Factsverse presents Mom finds goodbye note after her six-year-old dies. When she opens it, I can't stop crying. I'll share this heartbreaking story with you in just a moment. First, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Leland Shoemaker was a typical little boy. He loved to play sports, climb trees, and roll around in the dirt. He was an active six-year-old boy. His mother Amber often worried about him when he was out running around, but she realized that boys will be boys. She never, in her wildest dreams, thought that Leland would ever get sick from an amoeba. While Leland was outside playing, he was attacked by an amoeba in the dirt called Balamuthia mandrillaris. And the doctors, they couldn't determine when the boy came into contact with this amoeba, but they told Amber it typically enters the body through the soil when it comes into contact with an open wound. Leland started out with flu-like symptoms. Amber assumed that her son had simply caught the flu from a child at school. When his condition continued to worsen, though, Amber took him to a doctor and found out he had a very serious issue. Leland fought hard for three long weeks, but sadly the disease was too much for his little body and he died. His parents were devastated. Amber says that the worst thing a person could ever go through is losing a child. When Amber and her husband were going through Leland's things to prepare for the funeral, they found a note written by their son. They had no idea when or why he wrote it, and the note read, Still with you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Love. When they read the note, it broke their hearts again. It wasn't long before they found comfort in the letter. Reading his words was almost like he was speaking to them from the other side. After Amber found the note, she decided to write a eulogy for her son for the whole world to see. In her post, she wrote that she was overprotective of Leland. She always worried about him getting hurt, but she never imagined that playing in the dirt would take him away from her. She wrote about how Leland was a premature baby. She talked about him learning his alphabet, his numbers, his shapes, and his colors. He loved ships, anything about World War II, the History Channel, and the Weather Channel. Amber wrote that his favorite movie was Jaws, his favorite director, Steven Spielberg, and his favorite actor was Adam Sandler. She wrote about how much she loved her son and how sweet and kind he was. She also mentioned the note that she and her husband found in Leland's room. The end of her post was heartbreaking. It read, We will love you forever, Leland. Sleep tight and don't let the bedbugs bite. Amber didn't post the eulogy on her Facebook page. Instead, she posted it on a page that was created for Leland called Prayers for Leland, and it wasn't long before her post was shared all over the United States. People from all over the country saw the post and many left comments. Most people's hearts went out to Leland's parents. Amber says that she hopes that what happened to her son will raise awareness of the dangers of playing in the dirt. She hopes that those who read the post will remember to put a bandage over their child's cuts before they go out to play. What happened to Leland here is very rare, and if Amber had known about this type of amoeba and how deadly it could be, things might have turned out differently. One of Leland's relatives could not come to the funeral because he was serving overseas in the military, but he still wanted to do something special for Leland, so he got a group of friends together to honor the young boy in a way that Leland would have loved. The loss that Amber and her husband suffered was something no parent should ever have to go through. Amber says that she'll hold on to Leland's letter for the rest of her life. When she starts to miss him too badly, she just takes that letter out and looks at it. It gives her comfort and makes her feel closer to her son. Amber says she knows that Leland is in a better place now. This is the only way that she has the faith and strength to go on. Leland was taken from his family in this world way too soon. His death was a tragedy, and his parents will grieve for the rest of their lives. But somehow, little Leland knew to leave a message of hope behind. Subscribe for more.